also Brad so for fourth on the grid around the outside and he'll lead into and out of turn two there so uh, Andrew looks like he got a good start uh, the red uh, CRF 450 there and then Duncan Hart around the outside and then the inside of the left hand so uh, awesome stuff Jim Desai and then Duncan Hart he won't be mucking around he'll want to go and uh, charge up to the front so a 12 lapper and have a look down this long front straight at circuit uh, Chris Amon Manfield the slipstream all important on these uh, very un-aerodynamic uh, motocross bikes so have a look at the tucked in trying to get every bit of uh, aerodynamic uh, bit they can and the uh, 245 William Young in fourth place so a good start from him and uh, could be uh, the uh, Red and black leathers of Kaj Scott, the legendary Kaj Scott, Wanganui uh, man, and uh, been selling Hondas in Wanganui for over 25 years. So uh, he's uh, in fifth place at the moment, Kaj Scott, the real legend, and he'll be spending most of his Christmas day and uh, making the track at Cemetery Circuit. So awesome to see you know, Kaj out there. Looks to be a change of the lead, looks to be Duncan Hart has uh, snuck around yet, and he will lead down the front straight. So uh, Two of 12 gone, and it is uh, Duncan Hart, Ginger Sire, gets him a little slipstream, tucks on the inside, and he'll run up to turn one. Ginger Sire, on a move, not going to have it though, Duncan Hart's going to go around the outside, and they're going to be side by side as they head into the S's. Duncan Hart run a little bit wide. Ginger Sire sneaks back into first place, but uh, this is all on. Duncan Hart's got an awesome line around the uh, S's, he uses all the road and maybe a little bit of the grass there, and sneaks back up on the inside, so uh, awesome little three-way fight for the with uh, Andrew Rudd, the triple goal in uh, CRF 450. He's in uh, third place at the moment. Interesting to see uh, on the uh, live timing there. It is uh, William in fourth place. As there's three of them, three wide as they head into turn one. It looks to be uh, the triple nine. Oh, uh, Andrew Rudd there. Here we go into first place. Awesome to see Andrew. He runs into the S's first place. Watch Duncan Hart go around the outside, deep into the S's and around. Has the definite line, he's going to sneak up and get the inside heading out of the S's. So awesome line there from Duncan Hart. We head back to uh, the 245. Will Young, he's in fourth place at the moment. 62 of Pudge Scott, he's in sixth. Awesome stuff. And then uh, the 12 of Russell Desire, former Superbike champion and uh, Robert Hobb Memorial winner. So Russell Desire uh, on the bike talk. Uh, I think he's on his uh, Yamaha out there. So the Yamaha uh, from bike talk. Was, uh, he's the Tamaranui Bike Shop, uh, family friendly owned and generous about third place at the moment, super salesman during the week there at Bike Talk. So Duncan Hart, 74, two from two last week at Taupo. He leads out of the S's, uh, triple nine of Andrew right in behind him with Ginger Sire in third place and Jet looking to have a little move uh, to Toyota, not quite close enough. In the 245, but Will Young in fourth place with 62 of Coach Scott under a lot of pressure from I think that could be Russell Desire having a little go but this is all on here super motard action eight down uh, eight to go four down rather and uh awesome for sixth place at the moment coach got under all sorts of uh, pressure from russia to summer and also uh, james Tyler, so uh, awesome super motard action joined in the commentary in the legs, stuck in everything you can on these uh, big wide motocross bikes and uh, action everywhere with Duncan Hart in front, Andrew Rudd, then Ginger Sire, the 245 for Will Young, a, a lonely ride at fourth at the moment because they're in the real battle uh, with uh, Cud Scott, Russell just Sire and uh, James Clark there in uh, fifth, six and seven. So that's the awesome battle there and uh, just looking out for uh, seventh place there coming down the front straight as well. So uh, that's Jared Cox on the 542 machine. Awesome ride from uh, Jared there at the moment. Right, so the 74 is the great uh, Duncan Hart. Yes, just a correction. Right here. Uh, 450 courtesy of Mimico, Fred Deb, uh, Bay Ride and Endeavour Engineering. So uh, Duncan Hart, of course, he's been the winner of this series for two of the last uh, three years. And he's looking hot. Oh, here we go with uh, Jet, Jet here on the inside. Bad luck, bad luck. Here it is, Jet Josiah. Jet Josiah off the track, off the track. Here he is, the Yamaha hero. Bad luck for him.
Toyota. You see what he did? He peeled it right over there on the inside. Give him a millimetre on the track and look at as we go on the split circuit on the inside. He's a half a bike length closer. And that's the difference that it makes with this kind of race. Uh, right on the edge. Well, because there, and he's got right around the outside. And in fact, Andrew saw that coming. In fact, he didn't gain the advantage. He was done because the lamp was quite unique. But the lamp has moved right over. That gives uh, Andrew Rudd the opportunity to come up on the inside for Toyota. And this is what he did before. So he apexes the corner. So he goes right in on the narrow side on the edge because, of course, it's a complete reverse corner, completely opposite to what you'd see with the other riders. We come down the split second stuff on this at the moment, Brad. So uh, great to see that the car has not got its own way. Look at the gap they've got. The uh, guys that are uh, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth are all coming down the front right now. He's uh, got a little bit of a gap, but then look at this. Three of them. Russia decided to touch Scott and uh, Mark all in there with a chance of uh, third place. Third place, third place, third place, third place. Scott's got a big job coming in this week, of course, he's the cemetery circuit race builder that takes his time off leave and to Q&I. He uses his holidays to make that magnificent circuit. It's a great forecast all the way through to the least Tuesday this coming week, but in the times that he'll be getting busy, it's actually a rubbish forecast to three later in the week. So uh, all the best to catch for his amazing job. If you work on the front of the Bolton Field Street Circuit, you'll get literally the hundreds of hours of all the fine details you can go to. Awesome. He wants to make sure he doesn't lose that line. Well, great. Well, We're down here with uh, the uh, Supermoto, and I hope this yeah, it's going. <laughs> the um, another another win there um, for Duncan uh, after getting pole this morning, and the, your wins last weekend. 